Adi Adi Jawad is here and we are here with an interesting video which is uh, AI rendering engine Vras by Evil Lab and we want to review it and we want to see if it's gonna be a competitor for Enscape or V-Ray or what's the usage of it. Let's learn how we can download it and how we can use it. The first step you need to go to the evolab.io and you need to go to the uh, software part and Vras, I don't know the exact pronunciation right there then you can download the trial version which will allow you to uh, create rendering up to 100 and also it will have a 15 day trial for you and then when you download it you will have it in here in the lab part of your uh, revit software and you have to go to the right view before uh, starting the uh, plugin for example in this project I want to start my rendering so I go to the right view it is better to place cameras it will work better in cameras instead of just uh, default 3d view then click on start and in here we have a, you have to create a con if it didn't come up you have to create a con and signing in here we have some settings in here I will talk about all of them and in here the most important part is the prompt for example I want uh, uh, a house in the jungle, for example, with a foggy weather. And then we have some settings in here. I will talk about them, but before doing, before do anything, let's just click on render and let's see the result. And I will talk about the settings that we have in here. You can see it will uh, give you a great image without doing anything. Uh, compare these two together. For example, let me see if it's available to do this and uh, let me bring it in here and this you can see it is really amazing and it will give you a great image without uh we can say zero effort and you just need to have the model and there are some things in here the first one is creativity and strength when it is in a higher number it will uh, it will may change the geometry to for example you can see it have changed uh, it has changed some of the railings in here or some of the parts in here if you want if you want uh, to uh, keep the change in minimum amount you have to bring the creativity strength to a lower number something like that let's click on render and don't worry about the previous render it will save all of them for you so you don't need to save them by one by one i can see it is much more similar to the model that we have because the creativity strength is lower and the next one is a style strength which if you would uh, increase it it will make your rendering much more realistic and it will replace all of the parts with more images for example let's bring the style strength to a higher number maybe 90 and let's click on render you can see it will replace them by images but the uh, the highest uh, the higher numbers are not going to give you that uh, you can say uh, image that is real it is uh, real it is near to realistic but it is not feel real for example uh, so let's, uh, let's so let's bring it to a lower number maybe 64 and then click on render and for the creativity strengths if you want to uh, explore the new designs that you can bring to the uh, model it is better to put it on higher creativity strength because it will create uh, some uh, alternatives for you we can say let's put it on 100 and let's click on render and each time you render it will give you different results so you can uh, achieve two different alternatives for your design it's one of the parts that uh, I think I will use it uh, for my designs to create more alternatives and to give to uh, get some inspiration from my model and there are some settings in here if your rendering is interior you can check this it is it, what generally it will work it work it works better in exterior part in comparison with the interior part then we have a turbo nature which which when you turn it on it will uh, place additional vegetation in comparison with the vegetation that you have in the project let's click on render and let's see the results again you can see uh, if, and uh, at the same time i'm going to give you my opinion i think it's not going to overtake the enscape or vero or any other rendering uh, rendering engine uh, as we are talking right now but it's a great tool that will give you 
uh, more alternatives and it will give you some inspiration to change your model maybe or to give some more alternatives to your client you can see we have more vegetation right now i can change your prompt too and with different prompts you can get different results for example let me show you some of the uh some of the models that i some of the uh, renders that i got with different prompts for example let's see the main model in here and now you can see we have uh, a snowy day and another one another one with different settings that you can see you can get different results for example for this one for this one i specified uh, i said with ex with concrete exterior material the prompt was uh different with in comparison with the prompt that we provide uh we provided right now so with different uh, things you can get the uh, you can get different results for example i love this one and maybe i would use it on my thumbnail and let's uh explore another thing which is aerial views for example for some projects you can create aerial views too for example let's go to the file let's go to the open and let's bring a sample project in here and also Another thing that I forgot to say that right now it is available for Revit, but they have uh, they have announced that they will be it will be available for Rhino SketchUp in a uh, coming months. Okay, for example, let's select this project which has some streets in it. Let's click on open because it is open. I don't have to open it again. Yeah, yeah. This is open. Let's go to the 3D view, a default 3D view. I want to create an aerial image. For example, it will be fine. And now let's go to the Evo Lab and again click on a start. And let's create an aerial image for this one. I love this uh, part. Uh, let's say that an office in the downtown. And you have to specify that it is an aerial view. And let's uh, turn on the turbo nature. And that's great. Let's click on render and then we can manipulate these two settings that we have. But before seeing the result, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. It will help us a lot to create more videos like this. You can see the result is not satisfying in here because um, it's not satisfying. Let's uh, increase the style and uh, style and strength. It will give us, I think, a better result for this a specific part again it's not satisfying so uh, my uh, take is this that uh, because we have some geometry in here it wants to uh, recognize them too so it will not give you an exact great image but i tested without uh, without the roads and i got some results like this let's go to the picture and in here let's see the aerial image that i've created with different prompts and with different settings from this one you can see it is more like a uh, aerial image you can create different aerial images for, for example for this one i've increased the creativity strength to 100 and it all it even create uh created some uh, other buildings uh, beneath it so it depends on the things that you use on the prompt that you use and on the settings you use so make sure to change your prompts and those kind of things and that was it make sure to comment down below if you think that it will overtake the Enscape or in which cases you, you will uh, use it for your projects and if you are new in Enscape and you want to learn Enscape too make sure to watch this video in here